do 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 we are towering machines of flesh and bone scarred skin covers the ever reaching organic network no barcodes or branding provided, but the shapes of our faces, lengths of our hair, and colours of our skin all set us apart. What is left underneath when you begin to peel the skin away? What do you see when you look in the mirror? Watch how it warps when your eyes start to close. You see your shadow begin to flicker. Blood is hot and wet beneath the surface, pumped through us, beat by beat, by beat. Feel it pulse around your skull. Our entire identities are trapped, imprisoned in teetering towers of osseous matter, yet they tell us to let our minds run free. Cartilage cages, corporeal cages, cracked and crumbling cranium cages. Our surroundings are expansive and deafening, hands over ears, feet pressed into dirt, eyes screwed shut. Oh, Amygdala, why do you taunt me so? The world is built on sensation, skin on skin, cold to our bones, plunged into water, searing heat. That which we experience binds, blinds, and defines us shaping who and what we are and what we will become. Time passes, no matter how rich or poor. Bodies grow older and weaker. Form begins to sag and bend. Hair grows white and patchy. All we hope is that our minds remain sharp so we can indulge our addiction to the human experience, so we can continue to taste, touch, see, smell and hear all that we can before the last tick-tock of our clock. I've read that nostalgia is the only friend that stays with you forever. When your physical form finally fails you, how long can your memory endure?